Well, when we were in the Grand Canyon, even Dr. Marcus Ross pointed out uh, those uh, Precambrian rocks, those layers. Uh, so what we're talking about now is the, the fossils that are found just above that uh, great unconformity. Is that correct? Right. That's exactly right. Essentially, you hit, you're going from no complexity to the full mm -hmm. spectrum of complexity that we have today. So yeah. again, the word primitive uh, kind of prejudices the mind, doesn't it? it to does. say that these are, but these are these are very complex creatures. They are, and they have the same complexity at the cellular level, and this includes their developmental biology as modern insects do. Mm -hmm. We can clearly establish that line of logic. If you're going to try to explain the origin of life, for example, you have to have a way of explaining the full spectrum of complexity that we have in modern cells. Mm -hmm. Nothing short of that will do. So, so since the Cambrian, since these first organisms occur, we see differences in diversity, but we don't see new complexity. Okay. And, and the, the complexity we do see is related to um, the ability to move. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that shows us that whatever is behind the complexity we see in this animal has to be behind the whole scheme of things because you can't have this happening by random processes.